Now return to Let's Play Orcs Must Die, The Balcony. We now have an ice amulet, which is actually pretty powerful. I know I didn't imagine that voice. Whoever she is, hey, can I get a little help? I don't help? think she likes me. I don't okay. understand. How can anyone not like me? That's oh. not what I want, God damn it. Um, okay, so I've got the ice amulet. This one I'm going to want the wind belt and the ice amulet for. In fact, I think I'm going to want a lot of uh, different magical items. I'm going to need the barricades, these, uh, these guys, and why don't we also try the shock sappers now. Uh, this is going to be very magic heavy though, so I will want right the weaver. Uh, this is actually a pretty, pretty difficult map. Um, so I think the first several waves are going to heavily rely on me. Um, but thankfully, we can kind of utilize my abilities just a little bit, give myself some reprieve. We are really going to want to line this area up with archers and uh, kind of keep them all here. Just slow traps everywhere. Um, put a zapper up there eventually. Another one here. They're actually very difficult to place, which is really freaking annoying. But uh, once they get here, I mean, we are just beyond... We, we actually do have some archers up here. But uh, we're beyond help. We've got a few last-ditch effort things, but this is uh, this is actually a difficult one. I've failed a few times already on this. But these gauntlets right here are actually highly effective against the flying units, especially in groups. And especially in groups of these little guys. The secondary power is incredible. So, let's do that, and this one we will rely only on the gauntlets, because the orcs are going to be very, very helpful and uh, clump up for me. This is where I need Archer Spam. Fuck. Nope. I'm going to need that. Okay, I need I need some help. All right. Okay, seven. Oh, good, 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 good. They've given me they give me a break. Why is he still here? Interesting. Got pushed back just a little too far, but uh, I think we ought to be able to get a few more out of this. I can might also want to start putting some down here, but I don't know. They become targets, and then when uh, when those guys when the the imps throw down, um, it just completely devastates my barricades, which is not so cool, uh, actually. So, what do I have here? I could do... I kind of want to do one more archer, but I think this is going to do me a lot better. Okay, so I haven't been using this as a flame line, but uh, that will probably also help quite a bit. And uh, I can put down my... a couple of my... my things here. Alright, let's uh, continue on. That didn't work out. Fuck. 
the uh, the problem here is mostly my fingers. <laughs> And you cannot, apparently, uh, I need to do this. Okay, let my mana get up a little bit. Shit. Aim higher. God damn. I don't know. I might just actually want to do this. This seemed to be pretty effective. Okay. If I can get in there... Again, this is actually... That's actually way better. Okay, awesome. Uh, I need to get that in there. And we need to go all the way back here. And now I'm going to do uh, some archers here. And why don't we do a trap here? Oh boy. Fuck. They got me with the blast. Shit. Okay. That was sloppy, I admit. Um, but I need to do, like, uh... Come on, come on. Ah, oh, you bastard. This is what I should have done. Those guys are pretty, pretty damn devastating. I need to get back off the, uh, the back foot here. Guys. All right. <clears throat> Getting a little hairy. I'm <laughs> I am kind of nervous. Uh so we're going to do Can we do guys behind you? Can you get out of my way? Now the problem here is that if I block myself off like this, it's going to be incredibly difficult to get through them. Uh should I do I feel like I should do more up here as well. Um let's get these traps in actual good situation. Well, you know what? Maybe I could just put down a bunch of traps. Um, actually, wait, wait. Before I do that, I keep forgetting I got this damn... Uh... Dot effect. I think we'll just go with that. You're okay. you know that? Uh, and then we'll put down... Here, or a few of these. Or that may be too many. I, I You know, I, I honestly think that this is actually working out with the archers, but... I, again, I don't want them to be just too crammed in here. I just... I don't know. It, it, when I... Uh, well, let's just do it. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. Not far enough. Damn it. Okay, I need to be on this side. Is not cool. Okay. 
When I can catch my breath a little bit, this is fine. But when I uh, when I get thrown off the back foot, yes. they really throw me off, and it's not so good. Um, yeah, really. Gee, I hope nobody gets hurt. No, I don't. See, I need to I need to get over to the wind. Let my, uh... Okay, okay. This mass archer thing is actually starting to work out for me. I like it. Um, God, again, I just... I think this might be my downfall if I start doing this too much. Okay, I don't want to do that. I don't, don't think I want to do that either. I want to get over here with the wind. And then I want to get over here. Okay, I'm out of mana. That was a bad move. God damn it. So this is kind of... But, on the other hand... They did take care of that. How many did I lose there? Did I lose five? Starts out at 20, right? Yeah. What was it, just the time? Okay, yeah, it was, it was actually... Uh, but no, no, it was. It's because I lost the point, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I did lose five. I let five through. How did I do that? It had to have been when I died. Kobolds or something, I don't know. Well, whatever. I'm happy. I'm happy I got it because holy crap, it's a, it's a little bit trickier uh, than initially thought. It's just you know I had too many options is what I was trying to say. Um, you know, swapping between my keys and trying to remember which was which and in which scenario. It's otherwise not really that difficult. You know, as we saw, my uh, my poison bombs were the way to go, or my acid bombs rather were the way to go for. Uh, the little guys and uh, the kobolds, and then you just use ice on the others, and then whenever you have orcs, you can just blow them off the bridge. Um, really, the ogres are kind of a pain, but with as many archers as I had, they were able to pretty much take it down, and then just the, the, the splash damage from my other abilities. The secondary for that ice amulet is incredible. Um, that really actually is is pretty impressive. Unfortunately, you have to get very close to be able to use it because it's centered around you. And as we saw there, it is very easy to be overwhelmed uh, and just completely bombarded. I mean, the the enemy flame attacks do significant damage. They are crazy. You cannot take too many hits from them. And uh, the rift is too far away to be, actually be useful for uh, for healing. Uh, do I have enough points for something useful? Maybe. Looks like we have this coming up next. Effect lasts longer. That might be good. Put a few of these down in front of a door. Uh, those flame gauntlets kind of do that effect, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, pretty pretty short, actually, once we got it, but still. It was uh, really, I mean, I that would have been five star, or five skulls if I had well, obviously not died, but if I if I had been able to manage myself a little bit better and not get overwhelmed. And I really do think that the Wall of Archers, while effective, was a bad idea in the, the long run because then it was a wall to me as well. I kept running into them and had my back to them and it just it was not probably not the best way to do that. But I think that the traps, at least, uh, were the correct choice. Although this, the shock trap honestly just didn't feel like it did too much. What does this do? Additional charge? I don't know. I wasn't really paying too much attention to how often it went off. I just, it doesn't seem like it was really that effective and the flyers weren't flying high enough to that arched, uh, to, to the arch, so I'm not sure if those ones that were way up on the ceiling even came down. Because the one I put in front of the doorway was just over my head, which seemed to be about where they were 
at and then the top of the inside there was a little bit taller than that so I'm not even sure if those four were even doing anything uh, it's entirely possible they were not and so I wasted a bunch of money there uh, you know looking at it now I think I would have put in uh, like a, a few different traps I think actually spring traps would have been the way to go not necessarily to fling them off the bridge that probably would have helped but to fling them back to the bridge you know that that would keep all of your uh, your orcs and kobolds and, and the foot soldiers basically uh, sort of manageable because you wouldn't have to worry about them coming through the arch and then you could focus because really that entranceway is not super defensible otherwise I mean you've got that one wall that allows you to put something on it and then there's stairs and stuff so maybe maybe spike traps would have been better I don't know I think I think the key there is to keep them slow and so you know I I do think maybe I should have given the spring traps a try because that would have pushed them back into the tar and it would just it would have kept them together and then if I had used like my uh, my acid grenades or whatever uh, that would have been more effective or, or even the flame actually the flame is highly effective against the foot soldiers the ice is very effective against the flyers so I'll have to remember that in the future but anyway time to end this episode here I will see you next time